Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wade's Garage. Today's a good day because we're freeing up some more space in the garage. We're making my dream garage become a reality. You guys are gonna see what all that is about in just about a minute here. Stay tuned. So as you guys already know that uh, we have the Supra, the Mustang, and the 350 here. There's a spot behind me that's gonna have something new set up and it's gonna allow me to have all kinds of room to do different things in here. So we're gonna be moving this stuff out so it's out of the garage and doing a little something there as well. And I'll show you guys all of this when it all comes together. If you were an OG subscriber and you guys see me talk about my vision board before, it's one of the things that are on there. Slowly, I'm taking care of all the goals that I had on that vision board. I'll, uh, we'll do a vision board check after all of this, but it's gonna be pretty sweet. It's gonna look awesome in here and I can't wait till you guys see it. Now that we have everything moved over here, as you've seen, we just uh, pushed it over on the dollies that it came with. Uh, it's pretty handy. Really, the dollies are only for moving it around. You don't have to bolt this type of place to the ground, which is pretty sweet. You can uh, use these uh, dollies and they just slide right underneath and get pried up. And then you put them away when you don't need it. So you can just have this thing sit on all fours. You don't really have to bolt it down or anything. So in cases like this, when you want to move it around, say if I want to move it back over this way, I just get the dollies back out, move it, and then you're good. So but one of the last things is the hydraulic control unit with the tank on it and the electronics. That I'm getting mounted on that left far side there, so it's out of the way. It's not attached to here, and it's not, you know, that doesn't get tight over here. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up, get it installed, and then the last uh, other things are just minor adjustments with the cables, making sure everything's level and make sure all the locks are okay. Then we can fire up the car on it. Now that that is all on, we just have enough cord to reach over to the plug. If it's good here, I can still access all my controls. Here's the power button to go up. Here's the bleed down. I gotta attach all these lines and everything else, but so far, everything else is done. Now the only thing left is to adjust these and set the locks, and then I can put it back down off of these casters here, and then uh, we should be good to go. Okay, so now that we have the hoist all put together here and it's rose up, we adjusted everything else and leveled it on the cables and then leveled it on the locks as well. So now it's sitting perfect. So we've cleaned up with stuff here and moved it around. And uh, now we just need to get the car over here, put it up on the hoist. And we're pretty much just about done here. So another thing that we have added to the shop too as well is this desk here. This is where I'll be doing a lot of my editing and stuff. I had a friend make this for me. His Instagram is Fuel Woodworking, and he stamped a little thing on here that says Wade's Garage, which is pretty sweet. This won't be in here for any much longer, but this is kind of where all the stuff will be happening, where I do our writing and stuff, and then I'll have my stacked up cars over here, keep some things over here. I get a good view of what I'm working on, so. That's kind of a cool setup there. It's simple, it doesn't take up too much space, perfect. Do a little vision board check over here and see what we're taking off of the list. So we did the hoist, so we can remove that, take that down. We already hit a thousand subscribers, so that's good, we can remove that. And this is another sheet for the four post lift, so we'll take that down as well. We got most of the turbo kit, I'll leave that one up for a bit. We still have a little bit more to do with the Supra. We can take this down, we got the 2JZ GTE. 
Put that down there as well. And the only thing left is a welder. And then I can fabricate all my own car parts and whatnot. So that'll be a separate video in itself, but the vision board is looking pretty good. There's not much left on it. And then we'll reload that vision board once the new year hits. Everything that I've wanted to accomplish this year has become a reality here. And it's pretty cool because this is everything I could have ever dreamed of having in my garage with all these cars and the space and everything else. And super thankful for having a hardworking wife to help me out with that too as well and all kinds of stuff, a good job and whatnot. And I'm able to do this at such a young age, but.